In this problem, we need to calculate uh, both the volume and the surface area of a rectangular prism, and then uh, answer some questions about when you'd use one measure versus another. The problem says that the figure below shows a shed in the shape of a rectangular prism. Note that the shed has a floor, so all six sides of this are, are going to be taken into account. And it says use the calculator to find the volume and the surface area. So um, the volume is pretty easy. The volume is just the length times the height times the width. So 13 times 12 times 8. So we'll punch that in the calculator. And I am getting 1,248. And since this is volume, this would be cubic feet. All right, so 1,248 cubic feet. The surface area requires a little bit more calculation. Remember, rectangular prisms have pairs of sides. So there's this front here and a back that match exactly. So that's um, 12 by 13 sides. And there are two of them. So I'll write it like this, 2 times 12 times 13. And then we add that to the other uh, two sets of sides. Uh, the top here and the bottom are the same. And they're 13 by 8. So we'll have 2 times 13 by 8. And then the two ends here, they're 8 by 12. So we'll have to add that to 2 times 8 by 12. 12. And now we need to do a little bit of calculation to uh, figure out all those pieces. So let's start 2 times 12 times 13. That's 312. And 2 times 13 times 8 is 208. And 2 times 8 times 12 is 192. And now we need to add all those pieces together, plus 208, plus 312. And I'm getting 712. Now this is area, so it's square feet. All right, so we've done our calculations. Let's see if we can answer these questions. B says the shed is made of metal. Which measure helped the shed maker know how much metal was needed? Well, the metal, you'd need just to go around all the sides. So this would be surface area. You wouldn't fill up the whole shed. It wouldn't be solid metal all the way through. Uh, so just around the outside, that's surface area. C says the shed is used for storage. Which measure would be used to find out how much the shed holds? Yeah, so if you're going to fill the shed up, it's going to hold whatever its volume is. So this should be volume. So that's a problem uh, to help you distinguish between the uses of surface area and volume.